Hey, it's Aaron from the Brand for Regulators. Uh, today I just got myself a clone. I uh, just got back from Wellesley about 20 minutes ago. Uh, me and Buddy just went out, uh, picked one up right after work here. Pretty much dropped a nut for this gun. Um, just uh, <laughs> right on record, I'd just like to say that uh, I am a MacDev droid fan. Actually, I am a MacDev whore. Uh, MacDev just has this cult following type deal here where a lot of people don't really know about MacDev or you don't see too many of them around. Not very many people have owned them, right? They just have this really, really good line of quality products that they release. Uh, lately, they've been releasing a lot of products. So uh, this here I got was the uh, Clone VX. So it's the uh, 2011, I believe, model Clone. Uh, just before the G, this is the one just before the GT came out. So, um, I do own a MacDev Droid, and I gotta say, man, that gun shoots really, really, really well. So I ain't expecting no different from the clone. So I don't believe there should be anything to be disappointed about with this with this gun. Uh, so let's take a look at her. Uh, course comes in with a nice ball and set of Allen keys. All right. Uh, the uh, three-piece matchstick barrel. This here uh, is the back. Um, has inserts. Uh, as you can see, these inserts thread in to the back here. And they come out. See? Come right out. They slide right into the back. Um, I do have a shift kit which we will take a look at in a second as well, uh, which allows you to use a variety of different inserts for your barrel. Uh, right now, I think the uh, stock, this sizer here is a 691, comes stock with the shift kit with your clone. Um, otherwise, if you buy the shift barrel and the kit, which I did before because I did use the shift barrel with the, with the droid, this barrel just came with the clone, of course. And, uh, like I had said about the shift kit, uh, comes with a variety of different inserts, right? Uh, 681, 685, uh, 689, and 693. So, yeah, okay, I got the 689 in the shift kit right now that uh, is for the clone. So, the 691 is right here. So yeah, so these are the variety of different inserts, and also comes with a uh, little spanner, right? It helps you undo the uh, the insert. Comes with a nice battle swab, nice hard case, right? Okay, let's get back to the clone, and here is the clone. It's uh, copper silver, very nice. Um, also comes with a uh, MacDev Clone VX model spares package. Uh, some stickers, O-rings, uh, reg seats, detents, a grip screw, and I believe that is an eye screw for eye cover. Cool. And also, yeah, it comes with the uh, Militia Lube, which is MacDev's uh, lube that uh, comes with a gun. So, uh, just looking at the clone, and actually the weight of the clone is a lot lighter than droid. I think the droid is just over two pounds. This gun weighs about one pound, 14.8 ounces with a battery. And that's much, much lighter than uh, the droid, um, which is something I'm really looking for in a gun right now is lightness and um, the slim feeling because I noticed the droid's grip frame was really thick and really boxy and um, it was just really really hard to uh, to grip sometimes and the other scribe I had about the droids was the grips really really sucked uh, the thing about the clone here is that this grip here feels like it's really really pressed up against the metal it feels really really slim really really nice in your hands and I also see that they went to the uh, button membrane pad here instead of the little switch that the droid had up here which kind of sucked as well 
all a bunch of dirt and paint got caught up in there. It was kind of, kind of a pain in the ass clean. Um, yeah, so this is a pretty decent gun. Actually, I like the color scheme. Uh, the trigger is a lot better than the droid stock trigger, but uh, they're getting better. I gotta say, they're getting better. But uh, I'd be definitely getting a critical trigger for this gun here. But even though the guy that I did buy this from had the trigger set up nicely. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, take this gun out and shoot it. I got. Hey, uh, this is Aaron from Aaron from Regulators. I'm here with the uh, Clone VX I just picked up. I uh, got back from Wellesley about maybe half an hour ago now. Um, just before I came out here, I uh, took the uh, bolt apart and looped it lightly. And I uh, just made sure it wasn't dirty. Same thing with the reg. Just did that. Um, the clone feels and shoots like it's around 265, 270-ish. Uh, don't quote me, but I do not have a crony on hand, so I do not know. Um, so what we're going to do is just going to put a pod through it. Um, just going to see how it shoots, really. So I guess what we're going to be shooting it at is PSP uncapped. Okay, and I'm running a uh, Guardian 6845. So I'll air up. Show you that it you know, airs up just nicely, it doesn't leak or anything like that. Um, I don't know if you could actually uh, see it or not, but I've uh, got maybe about yeah, there's a 1,000 PSI in the tank, so I'm only putting through one pod, and we're going to see how much air it uses. Um, make this one comparable to the droid, actually. Clone BX.